Amazon announces more layoffs, and this time they are going to lay off over 100 customer service managers because who needs customer service and why would it need to be managed? So um, the manager's internet connections in the middle of a work day um, for over 100 people were just cut off at Amazon one day. And um, maybe not for the reason that you guys are thinking that these layoffs occurred. It wasn't that Amazon had had a bad quarter because when we look at the numbers, get this, last quarter they pulled in $143 billion in revenue and over 10 billion of that was profit. So it's not like they're hurting and they needed to cut back. So these managers, after being interviewed for this article said that, their workloads had been increasing rapidly as of late. Many of them were working over 12 hours per day. So the first question is, if you are overloading these managers with more and more work and they're working 12 plus hours a day and you cut 100 of them, who is going to do their work? I think I have an idea. Could it be the people that were working underneath them that now don't have a path to be promoted because those manager roles have been eliminated? I bet that is it. So if we go by the common management rule of 12, which says that one manager shouldn't have more than 12 direct reports, meaning no other levels of management between them. So these 100 plus managers that manage at least 12 people a piece are gonna be manager free and, and not have supervision, training, or direction, I can see some problems might materialize there. Um, so if the company's not losing money and these managers were being overloaded with more and more work, then you're gonna go, okay, so how, how did these layoffs occur? Well, they were given 60 days of severance. So 60 days of severance in this economy, the average um, time to get a job right now is between 120 and 145 days. That's the average for a person to be unemployed. So this is less than half of the time it's gonna take you to find a job that these folks were laid off for. And I understand that layoffs can be a last ditch effort if, cut, if companies are like really struggling, guys. I get that. I get it that companies have to survive to be able to pay the employees that they still have. Um, but uh, they're, not, they're not hurting in any way. So if they're not hurting in any way, um, why did Amazon decide to do this? Um, so as we all know, Amazon is the second biggest employer in America, and that's behind Walmart, guys. So um, what you have to ask yourself is, even if this is a huge employer throughout America and you are desperate to get a job, you have to look at the repeated behavior of companies, people, etc. So if you see that a company constantly does big hiring surges, and then lays people off after the ends of quarters, you have to know, especially if you're gonna be new to that company and not have seniority, that's probably gonna be you in the next round. So just like anybody in your life that you've seen have bad relationships over and over, there's a common denominator. And it's the same thing with companies. Amazon laid off over 180,000 people in 2023. So this, this is not a surprise, but choose your employer carefully. Would you guys work for them? Let me know.